The Immediate Causes of World War I, Vodcast 2. The aims of this vodcast are for students to be able to analyze the immediate causes of World War I. June 28, 1914. Heir to the Austrian throne, Franz Ferdinand visits Sarajevo. The capital of Bosnia, it was recently grabbed by Austria and became a hotbed of Slav nationalism. This included the terrorist group, the Black Hand. The Spark That Caused World War I Black Hand terrorists attack the Archduke. Their first attempt in the morning, a bomb attempt, fails. Then, in late afternoon, Gravillo Princeps is able to get close enough to shoot and kill the Archduke and his wife. Then, Austria-Hungary blames Serbia for supporting the terrorist. The Immediate Cause of World War I Austria-Hungary, supported by Germany, sends Serbia a tough ultimatum, one they know they cannot accept. This actually gives Austria-Hungary an excuse to launch a limited war against Serbia. Their hope was to squash the Serbian nationalism. As expected, Serbia agrees to all but two terms of the ultimatum. Then one thing leads to another. Austria-Hungary, unsatisfied with Serbia's response to her ultimatum, declares war on Serbia on July 28, 1914. Russia, bound by treaty to Serbia, then announces mobilization of its vast army in her defense, a slow process that would take around six weeks to complete. Then, Germany, allied to Austria-Hungary by treaty, viewed the Russian mobilization as an act of war against Austria-Hungary and, after a scant warning, declared war on Russia on August 1st. Next, France, bound by a treaty to Russia, found itself at war against Germany and, by extension, with Austria-Hungary, following a German declaration on August 3rd. Germany was swift in invading neutral Belgium so as to reach Paris by the shortest route possible. Britain, allied to France by a more loosely worded treaty which placed a moral obligation upon her to defend France, declared war against Germany on August 4th. Britain was also obligated to defend neutral Belgium by the terms of a 75-year-old treaty. With Germany's invasion of Belgium on August 4th, the Belgium kings appealed to Britain for assistance. Britain committed herself to Belgium's defense later that day. With Britain's entry into the war, her colonies and dominions abroad variously offered military and financial assistance. These included Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, and the Union of South Africa. President Woodrow Wilson declared a U.S. policy of absolute neutrality, an official stance that would last only until 1917. Japan honoring a military agreement with Britain, declared war on Germany on August 23, 1914. Two days later, Austria-Hungary responded by declaring war on Japan. Italy, although allied to both Germany and Austria-Hungary, was able to avoid entering the war by citing a clause enabling it to evade its obligations to both countries. In short, Italy was committed to defend Germany and Austria-Hungary only in the event of a defensive war. Italy argued that their actions were offensive. Then Italy declared instead a policy of neutrality. The following year, 
In May 1915, Italy finally joined the conflict by siding with the Allied powers against her two former allies of the Triple Alliance. To recap, the aims of this podcast were for students to be able to analyze the immediate causes of World War I. This concludes Podcast 2, World War I, The Immediate Causes.